good morning as you can see I'm in the greenhouse it's been a long winter but spring is finally here and I am a very happy happy person it's supposed to be warm the next two days warm <laughs> low 50s but it's not supposed to go be freezing so I am moving all the plants out into the greenhouse we're gonna be doing a lot of back and forth for the next probably two or three weeks until the weather is more <laughs> in the above freezing range, but that's okay. The plants need the sun. Art said he was happy to move things in and out, just to move them out into the greenhouse today. So that's my project that I'm working on. I set up a table here. This table here, someone was getting rid of. It's in pretty rough shape, but it will work perfect for in the greenhouse. This is contact paper in case you're wondering. <laughs> Real fast for the greenhouse. We're gonna put the geraniums on there and then I'm gonna put my other plants over there. I think I have enough geraniums to fill this up and get those really going. It's been it's been a very uh, crazy end of winter, beginning of spring, but I think we're finally starting to get our feet about us after the wedding and everything that's been going on, well, the last couple months. Daniel, you look way too big for that bike. I think you grew. Did you grow? No, does it still work for you? Yeah. I bet Hannah's gonna use that this year. <sighs> And look, the daffodils are starting to sprout, Daniel. Over here. See all those plants coming up? Those are daffodils. They're starting to come up. Now right here. Yeah? Those daffodil, are daffodil, daffodil, daffodil. Oh, <laughs> Peter's working on Frosty. Frosty being his snowblower. Frosty seemed to have some uh, mechanical difficulties this winter. So. It's a good day. Pete's trying to figure out why it's not. It's running, but the tracks aren't running. So he's working on that. And then it's ATV. He's getting the lawnmower all set. Obviously, if there's snow out, we're not going to be mowing. But it's a good day to get all of his, you know, little equipment ready for the summer. These guys are going to go out in the greenhouse. We've got some lettuce, pak choy, and broccoli, a few zinnias here, chives, and then I have some tomatoes and sweet peppers that have germinated. They just haven't totally... I've got a tomato here. And the geraniums, this has only been a week since I planted them, and they're doing really, really well. I think they're going to love the greenhouse. The Martha Washington, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> But I did take a cutting and we'll see what happens with it. So I'm back inside. I got all the geraniums put outside, but I'm going to transplant my olive tree. The um, cherrier art got this for me last year for my birthday. I never ended up transplanting it. I transplanted the passion vine and the lime and the lemon bushes, but I never did the uh, olive tree here. So I'm going to work on that next. It said it likes a really sandy loamy type of soil and the potting mix, peat moss mix that I ended up getting from our greenhouse, I think will fit the bill because it doesn't seem to stay wet at all and this olive trees don't like a lot of sogginess. So I went ahead and found this pot. It's got the drainage, which is perfect for inside. It'll live outside in the summer. It's too cold for it right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and transplant it because it is obviously starting to get all, I don't know if you guys can see that, all that new growth on the bush, so it's time. Okay, so definitely root bound. Guys, if you can see that, definitely root bound, and it was time to replant it. Middle. Watch, it'll grow into a giant or something. <laughs> that probably will do a lot of good for the plant. Yep. It probably should have been done last year, but it didn't. Oopsie. I think we're going to need a buck another bucket of dirt. Alrighty. So Lydia just noticed that the olive tree is sweating, just like my passion fruit. See that? Yeah. Can they see that on the camera? I think so. Isn't that weird? I yeah. wonder why. 
the olive tree looks very happy with his pruning and new pot. We'll see how it grows. It says it should flower in the springtime. I don't know if it will flower. They say it usually takes two to four years for it to flower. So it might be too small this year, but I'm the soil certainly won't hurt it. And I don't know, we'll see what happens. In the meantime, I am making some broccoli cheese soup for lunch. We just gotta add the cheese here, but that looks and tastes really good today. Uh, fine. Someone get it? We're out in the doing errands and we went to the recycler, but we found out the recycler is actually next to the animal shelter. And Charity, I don't. Do they know that Charity and Colin got a cat? I don't. I don't, I don't know if we, we even mentioned this. Um, Charity and Colin adopted a cat from the shelter, and it turned out it's a Maine Coon cat. They have this beautiful calico Maine Coon cat, and I was telling the lady at the recycler about it, and she said that the animals that came in with Jinx's, I guess they'd be siblings or however you could call that. Anyways, it was a hoarding situation and there was a whole bunch of Maine Coons, but because there was no papers or anything like that, you know, you couldn't, they couldn't say, oh, it's a Maine Coon. Um, but I thought that was really interesting because Maine Coons are really hard to find and they're big cats. We'll have to show you, we'll have to get, um, stop by Charity's house and you guys can see Jinx. Such a pretty, pretty kitty. Oh, look at the cows. Those must be their beefers, Art. Look at that cow, it's laying down. So they really made a big production out of that. So. Wow. In previous years, they just had a handful of buckets there. So that was a professional maple syrup production, unlike ours, which we just use buckets. It is so beautiful out today. Obviously, we're back home. I'm tidying up, going to water the plants, and then close up the greenhouse for the day. Keep the heat in there. So it's supposed to get down to only 40, I think I said 43 tonight. So everything will be fine in the greenhouse tonight. I'm not worried about it. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be still warm down into the mid 30s. So it's probably fine. But then they're forecasting below freezing temperatures. And as I have found out that greenhouse does not hold the heat at all. So we'll have to bring stuff in. Um, I'm gonna go over and check our taps for the maple syrup because yesterday it didn't run at all. So I'm thinking we are at the end of the season and it's just about time to pull the taps, but today was a beautiful day, so I'll check it out and see how they're doing. That's an empty bucket, kiddo. This is what we... Yeah, there's a little bit, but it's not running much. So we're almost at the end of the season. We'll go check the other buckets. Yeah, look at that one. Almost completely dry. Oh. And that one's pretty much dry. Anything in that one, Grace? Yeah, be careful. We don't want it to pop off the tree. That one? Yeah, not much in that one either. Anything in that one, kiddo? I don't know. Oh. Yep, let's see. Nope, almost dry. Yep, nice. we're, I think the season's done. Well, there looks like there's just a little bit more snow on the sledding hill, but not much, kiddo. Oh, yeah. Well, that's... The end of the season. Who? Oh, what did you find? Oh, a puffball. One of the animals must have brought it over there. That's cool. What did you find? Oh, a bunch of acorns. Lots and lots of acorns. Uh -huh. Bittersweet too. Now this is probably gonna be the end of the snow for the year. 
Well, this can be the garden. See, you barely see my garden. That's the orange garden. And then the other two gardens are over there. Should we follow the ATV trail? Wow, the snow's really deep back here still. We had so much. Was it last week we got almost a foot of snow? Something like that. Anyways, um, I don't think we ended up vlogging this because this all happened right around the wedding. Um, Peter ended up saving up his money and he bought himself an ATV, which has been a real useful piece of equipment because he's been using the ATV to do all the wood for the, for the um, maple sap. Oh, you stepped in all the mud. I hope your boots don't have any holes in them, kiddo. They don't. Yeah. Yeah, like, don't, don't, yeah, just let it go. Try to stay out of the mud. Oh, yes, this has been, this has been one of the worst years for mud over here. All of my years, I've never seen it this bad. Look, Mommy, look, it's not this yeah. So I think we are probably just about ready to pick this all up for the season. We're over. There's Peter's wood. Oh, this is oh, deeper than you see. Oh, yuck. It's deeper than you see. Uh, don't, don't come back here with sneakers. You'll have wet feet. Okay. It's awful. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Wow. I've never seen it like this art ever. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need to do something about that.